Okay, let's try this one more time. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? How is your October going? Mine is going super fast. Like it's middle of October. And it's Friday. Like, where'd my week go? Um, so yeah. So in the theme of top tens, this week we're gonna do musicals. I know you're tired of top tens. There have been top tens on summer. I'm very sorry. I got in a habit and it's been lazy, I know. I promise by 2018, we'll do something different. But for now, here are the top 10 musicals after this. <laughs> um, so, I picked my top favorite musicals that I've seen. Um, I've seen them all in movie version. I love them all. I'm probably going to say I love them. I, after I'm going to name one, I'm going to be like, oh, I love this one so much. I'm very sorry in advance. Um, if my, your favorite musicals are not in this top ten, please put them down below. And I will go watch them because I really want to go watch more musicals. So, without further ado, here we go. Number one is Phantom of the Opera. Bleh. Phantom of the Opera was the musical who made, that made me fall in love with musicals. Um, mainly because I feel like I was in yeah I was in middle school when I first watched it. Um, fun fact: If you didn't know, I was in band. Yes, I was a band kid. And after we had concerts, um, the day after, like the Monday after, because they were normally on like. Fridays, I think. I don't remember. It was forever ago. But the next school day, during band, our band teacher would let us watch a movie slash musical. Um, and Family of the Opera was one of the ones we watched a lot. And I love it. It's so good. <sighs> next up. The Sound of Music. Iconic. I love Julie Andrews. Um, that's it. <laughs> I love Julie Andrews, and I am a bit of a history buff. I do like history, not as much as my father, but it does interest me. And I think it is a really good, like, look on, like, the Nazis and hiding from them and escaping Germany and all that time period. I just find it interesting. And I like how it's about an actual true family. Like, it's a real story. Um, and that there actually is a Von Trapp family somewhere in this world. And I just, that's, it's, it's so cool. Next, oh, before I tell you number three, fun fact, my mom does not like this mu this musical um, because when she was a little teeny bopper and she did she babysat for some people and their kids <laughs> loved The Sound of Music and so they would watch it all the time. So she doesn't like it. Next up is Chicago. Now, Chicago is a really good movie or musical, but I don't think I should have been allowed to watch it at eight because there's a very, 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 very large amount of sexual references. So an eight-year-old Megan obviously did not understand them, but yeah, I don't think I should have been should have been able to watch it. But once done is done, you can't go back. That was 10, 11, 12, 13 years ago. Woo that's a long time ago. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's a really good movie actresses, actors, everyone is just so good in it. Number four is The Wizard of Oz. Uh, this was one of the first musicals I have I had ever seen in my entire life of living. Um, and fun fact, when Where I Am From had a community theater, I was in it. I was a little munchkin. I was cute. And the costume that they had me wear was unbelievably comfortable and soft and I wanted to take it home but alas they but I love Judy Garland and I love, I just love this musical so much. I love it. Um, so I just love it. I'm sorry, I suck at descriptions. I really, really do. Honestly, Wizard of Oz is a classic. Speaking of classics, number five is Grease. Now, I just, Olivia Newton-John is so good in this movie and so is John Travolta. He was actually kind of adorable back then. Didn't age too well. Nope. But still. He was adorable in Greece and I love it so much. Yeah. And for a while it confused me that 
this movie was about the 50s, I think, 50s or 60s, but it was filmed in the 70s. My little little baby Megan Brink could not understand, but I, I get it now, guys. I, I get it now, I promise. Why does my phone keep going off? Anyway, number six is another classic with Julie Andrews, obviously, and it is Mary Poppins. This is also one of the first musicals that I had ever seen with my little baby eyes. Well, they're not baby eyes anymore, but you know what I mean. And I actually, like a year or two ago, um, finally read the book Mary Poppins um, by P.L. Travers, right? Yeah. Um, anyway. Excuse me. Um, but I just love this musical. I love the magic of Mary Poppins and just, I love Mary Poppins. Under 70s Hairspray, another John Travolta classic. Also, Zach Efron was in it and Amanda Bynes. Like, I watched that one. <laughs> I haven't seen any other version except when they did a live version on the TV with some new people. Uh, Dove Cameron was in it. That's, I don't know, that's all I remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a good movie or musical. Uh, whatever. Uh, and I love. 60s. I love the music and like the Welcome to the 60s. Oh, 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 oh. That's all I'm gonna say because I don't have the rights and I'm not gonna sing. Okay. Um, but yeah, that gets stuck in my head for ages and such a good musical. Number eight is Mamma Mia. I love this musical. I went to see it in theaters with my mother and I think my dad went. I'm not sure if my sister went or not, but I went. I went into the theaters and saw it and it was good and I liked it and I also like Apple but that's for a different thing um but yeah Mamma Mia is good and I have that song stuck in my head cool um <laughs> number nine is Rent now I didn't get to see this until like last year or the year before because when it first came out I was a little baby not like a little baby but I was like seven to ten I don't remember and my parents wouldn't let me watch it and I was so mad because they let my sister watch it but now I understand why um it was really good um again no one under 15 should watch it at least without a parent or guardian or adult of some sort um a lot of sexual references a lot of other references it's just it's not kid friendly. <laughs> um, and then last but not least is cats. Oh, cats. Um, for a very long time, I thought cats was creepy and I was never gonna watch it. But then in high school, I had a musical um, theater class where basically we watched a bunch of musicals and then we either wrote a paper on them or like we picked them apart basically like analyzed we analyzed it and this is one of the ones that our teacher had us watch now they're still creepy I will not deny that but it was actually kind of really good um brilliantly thought out and performed and I wouldn't want to see this one live honestly because they just freaked me out too much so, I lied at the beginning. I don't want to see all of them in live. I want to see nine of them live. Um, nothing against the people who perform in it or need to do anything. I just would rather watch it at the comfort of my own home where they aren't there. <laughs> they're on my TV or my laptop screen, computer screen. Because they're, they're just too creepy. I'm sorry if they are. <laughs> but yeah, that was my top 10 musicals. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. If you want to see more of my pretty face, please hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every single Friday at 4. Um, like I said at the beginning, please let me know what your favorite musicals are in the comments below, and I will check them out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend and a great rest of your Friday, if you're watching this on Friday. 
Um, and I hope to see your beautiful faces next week.